Welcome back. We now know that by burning fossil fuels, we humans have changed the composition of the atmosphere such that it traps more and more heat. Earth is a big interconnected system and quite how the other spheres will respond to this steep, sharp and rapid rise in temperature is unknown. The stakes could not be higher. So remember, Earth's climate is an intricate machine, like my bike. So what happens to this excess heat in the planet's atmosphere? Well, it's like when I'm pedaling full speed on my bike. I'm creating much more power. How does my bike cope with that? Well, my wheels turn faster, and if I try to change gear... Nope, <laughs> it doesn't like that. And then my brakes might not work, and I don't have any resistance. I'm still pedaling. I can't control the bike, and frankly, I'm getting exhausted just turning the wheels like a hamster. One effect led to another. Everything is intertwined, and it's similar for the Earth. If there's an excess of energy, it's not going to end well. Let me cool off, get my breath back, and I'll tell you why. 93% of the excess heat is absorbed by the oceans. And when water heats up, it expands. And that raises sea levels. In fact, 42% of sea level rise is down to the ocean expanding after absorbing heat from the atmosphere. 3% of the excess heat is absorbed by ice. And that melts the glaciers. In fact, they're melting faster than it takes for ice to reform. And that means the cryosphere, the ice on the planet, is reducing. And this melting ice causes two big issues. The first is that melting glaciers lead to the slowdown of that giant ocean conveyor belt that's redistributing heat around the planet. Melting ice, especially in some regions near Greenland, brings more fresh water into the ocean, and that brings problems with it. Mixing fresh water into the ocean makes it less salty at some places, and that changes how dense it is. When it's less salty, and, and when it's warmer, it doesn't sink as well. And the water sinking in Greenland is a vital part of that really important ocean conveyor belt. The second impact of melting ice comes from the fact that it's white. Its bright whiteness reflects solar heat back up into the atmosphere and out into space. Scientists call this percentage of solar radiation reflected back into space the albedo. And when snow and sea ice melts, the ocean or land left behind is darker. It has a decreased albedo. And if it reflects less light back, then more light, more solar heat, is absorbed by the ocean and land, amplifying the warming. The result? Ever faster melting of glaciers, ice caps and Arctic sea ice. It's a vicious cycle or a positive feedback loop. And positive there doesn't mean good, it means the reaction is going in the same direction as the cause, i.e. more heat leads to more heat, more melting leads to more melting. Another 3% of this excess heat is absorbed by the soil. That dries the soil out, which leads to more frequent and more extreme droughts which increases the frequency and intensity of wildfires. In Australia, for example, in 2019 to 2020, there was exceptional droughting, and it was linked to the ferocity of the wildfires they experienced. The final 1% of that excess heat remains in the atmosphere, and that has important consequences. For example, a hotter atmosphere can hold more water vapour in it, more precisely, the atmosphere can hold 7% more water vapour for each degree of warming. The ocean warming I just mentioned also means more evaporation, which increases this amount of water vapour in the atmosphere even further. And remember, water vapour is also a greenhouse gas, so it means yet more heat will get trapped in the system. It's another feedback loop. So, to sum up, Releasing more and more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere traps more and more heat. That excess heat is absorbed by the oceans, ice and soil. And that has a variety of impacts on all the spheres of the climate system, leading to a positive feedback loop that amplifies the original problem, global warming. 
This has led the Earth to warm by an average of one degree over one century. Thank <music> you.